Hello developers, today we will see how we can use the progress steps in React. So this is our desired output of this video. It also has the previous option button and completed check icon. And at the last step, the submit button instead of the next button to proceed further in the app. So let's get into it. This is our basic React app with the simple text output. First, let's import the progress step in the app with all the required libraries. Now we don't need this part, so let's remove it and write export default app here. Now let's write a basic syntax for the app and to configure various aspects about how it get presented in parent navigators we will use navigation option and keep the header to null and let's create a view section for the progress steps and add some style to it like flex to use a full screen and margin top for the spacing and let's call the progress steps here with this progress step style we can assign a custom style to the progress steps now let's create a progress step style and add some style in it like active step icon border color, active label color, active step number color, complete step icon color, complete progress bar color, completed check icon color. Now with the progress step, we will create a single step and this web section will contain the current step information. With the text, we will give some message in it. After that, let's assign some style to it to keep the items in the center. With the label, we can give name to the steps. Now for the scroll view props, we will use the function called default scroll view props. After that, let's create the function this keyboard should persist taps will determines when the keyboard should stay visible after the tap. This is for the future reference. Now let's create the style for the content and add some style in it like flex, justified content. After this, for the next and previous button, let's assign a one function and let's call it button text style and add some style in it like color and font weight. Now to create a multiple step, we can reuse this step. So let's just copy and paste it and let's make some changes in the message of every step and change the label of the step. After this, to get the submit button on the last step, we will use on submit, which will call the on submit step function. Now let's create the function. With this function, we will send the message to the console that the progress has been done and we can also give any other custom tasks to perform to this function. Now let's close the previous app and open the terminal. Let's go to the article which have the installation process and direct source code. So let's copy this command and paste it in the terminal. Wait for the installation. After this, let's run the app with the expo start. So we got the output, but the color of the check mark is overlapping with the background color. That's why we can't see the completed check mark. So let's change the completed check mark icon color to light green and reload the app with R and click on the next. So we can see the check mark now. And at the last step, we can see submit button which is sending a progress done message to the console when we click on it. So that's it guys, make sure to check out the website. It have direct source code and installation process which will help you to build the awesome React Native apps. So like this video and give sub to this channel and see you in the next one.